why? What, what did you say? What did you say? Oh, yeah, what, what did you, you say? You have a why? Name yeah, but I didn't, I didn't do any anti-social. What have I wrong? I've been giving tracks to people. I was just preaching. Did I touch anybody? No. no. I didn't push anybody? No. Just for talking about Jesus. You're arresting me. Yeah, because you found... Hello everyone, welcome to another show on Nebo TV today. My name is Agbaji Onome. I'm always excited to be with you all and I know you are excited as well. All right, to this program, we're going to be centering on differences on how religion is being practiced in Africa and the Western world. We are going to focus on how people share the gospel of Christianity in Africa and the Western society. So, we will be using a case study of a man who was preaching the word of God so loudly in the street of London in the United Kingdom and was apprehended by the police. As we all know, Christian religion, according to history, was introduced to Africa by the Europeans this dates back to 1400 AD and long before, bringing about colonialism in African countries like Nigeria, Ghana, Sierra Leone, and many others. However, according to research and reports, Christianity is now more practiced in Africa than other countries to the point some people now see it as a more way to defraud the masses and amass wealth and make public disturbance. This man in question, whose name is unknown because he refused to give out his name, took to the street of London to preach the gospel aloud that people could hear the preaching so loudly. This drew the attention of the police as it was considered a noise and public disturbance. He was, however, arrested for the act of noise making and public disturbance on the street. But even in the arrest, the young man still continued in his loud gospel preaching, saying that he was just preaching the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ and has done nothing wrong or committed any offense. This has caused public opera and two different sets of opinion has erupted. It is said according to people in the western world that people over there do not go about on the street preaching so loudly and causing public disturbance. However, in Africa, it is a thing that is very common and even a thing of joy. People are seen about the street with megaphones, speakers, and all equipment preaching and speaking so loudly in the street. But in the western world, it is a different case. It is considered a public disturbance and can attract an apprehension by the police. On social media where this news surfaced, the video has attracted over 30,000 comments so far. Preaching. Jesus died on the cross for you. There is no other name under these heavens by which anyone can be saved except, let me take it, except through the name of Jesus. I'm not resisting arrest but I didn't say anything wrong. If Jesus died on the cross, I will still preach it. I will still preach about Jesus. Okay? Yeah, he didn't do nothing. He hasn't done nothing wrong. Yeah. This is persecution. Yeah. Let them tell you what you're charging a man for. What they said, they said it's preaching. Yeah. They said it's an accuser. Where's the accuser at? Yes. I've already told him what he's accused of. But they have to show up what they're accusing him of. We don't commit a crime by preaching. Many perceive the situation to be that of the times of the old, when disciples of God were persecuted, as stated in the Holy Bible, for preaching the gospel. Others call it end time happening that the world is about to end with the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. A few called it injustice and made reference as to if it was a white man that was the perpetrator, he would not have been arrested. But because the man is black, the law became unjust to him. Some people have, however, stated a clear opinion as to the way Africans are approaching the issues of preaching the gospel and Christianity. Some targets to be awkward as they feel it can be a show of act sometimes while hiding under the word of God to fraud people and the church members of money.
In addition, opinions of maybe the person in question was a stranger in the Westard ward who doesn't know the law of public disturbance and felt he could do anything he wished. However, a good number of people, the blacks to be specific, came out to support the person involved. They said he did nothing wrong, he was only preaching the word of God in the streets. Law-abiding citizens also add their opinion that one should study an environment know what is accepted before acting. On Facebook, in one of the comments made, it says, Constituting nuisance is not part of evangelism. One needs to study the environment they find themselves and obey the authority in the land. The person drew an highlight of his own ordeal in Nigeria when he went out to preach. According to him, unknowing to him, he went out to preach in a place where people were resting their heads and relaxing their minds. He was sent out and then he apologized immediately. He moved on to another location which accepted him. However, in the Western world, one can consider someone who comes out to preach aloud or who comes out on the street to make loud noise as a psychiatric patient if found it is seen as abnormal to come out in the open screaming so loudly such persons are quickly apprehended if found the case of this man was relatively similar so, this is a distinction between how the Westerners and Africans preach the word of God or handle the case of Christianity. The Westerners do not go about with speakers or megaphones on the street preaching the word of God, but in Africa, it is a common practice. Now, there is a quick question. Was this man right in his actions or were the policemen right in apprehending him? What's your take? Drop your comment in the comment section below. With this, we're going to end today's program and come back with more exciting news for you all. Stay safe. My name remains Agbaje Onome. God bless you and God bless Nigeria.